one. Hi folks. Hey there. Well, hey Mamie. What's up? We're back in Arizona. We came back to the heat and we had a beautiful, we've been in New York City and later on we're going to tell you all about it. And it, it's, it's, it was quite an adventure. But my grandson Tony and his wife are going to be here to help us, so we'll introduce you to them later. But while we were in New York, we went to a, a beautiful little restaurant on the Hudson River. We ate al fresco. Right beside the Hudson River. Right, not in it, but beside it. And uh, we picked up this, we tried this salad. And so we thought we'd want to share it with you. And then one of the reasons that I like this salad is because um, you can take this to a barbecue. Where else, Mamie? Picnic. Picnic. Which is the same, probably. Yeah, but anyway, it's a salad that does not have to be refrigerated. So you can just uh, take it anywhere and you're going to feel safe about it. And it sounds odd, but it's delicious, so I want you to try it. So what we've done here, this is so simple. You can see we have a yellow watermelon. Now when Berkeley came in tonight, she said, what is that? She had never seen a yellow watermelon. And we have a regular seedless red watermelon. So Mamie, what Mamie has done is she has chopped up the yellow watermelon, put it in the bowl. All of it? Yeah, put it all With in. With the juice? Why not? Why not? Why not? Go juice. This is so good and you're gonna like this salad. My Valerie, you in Hawaii, you try this because this is great. Then we have red watermelon that maybe chopped up. Or not chopped, that's a bad word. She has cut up. Cut up. It sounds a lot nicer, doesn't it? Sure. So, and then, what we're gonna do is we have taken some heirloom tomatoes and some regular tomatoes with some fresh basil. And you wanna put that in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, we're going to have enough for the block, right? Well, maybe we can take it down to the whatever. The okay. Unneedy. Then let me get a spoon. Our Here. neighbors, yeah. There you, they'll like this. This is, for those of you that really like healthy foods, this is great. So you can see, want to pick it up and show them maybe? Yes. I'll just come over here because we, a lot of times we bring the camera over. So it's a beautiful salad. <laughs> okay. With yeah, you see it. Fresh right. basil, heirloom tomatoes, regular tomatoes, all uh, the, the two watermelons. And then the only way, what I'm gonna do now, what they did in New York. Oh, well, what happened? Oh, I just dropped one little. Oh well, that I that happens. It. What they did in New York, they took a champagne vinegar and some olive oil and made a dressing. But the other day when I was at Trader Joe's, I saw this strawberry basil vinaigrette. So I thought, well, with That's the basil bad. in it. And then some strawberries, we'll add that to the salad. Okay. So I'm just gonna lightly uh, put this, put that in, and then we'll get a spoon and taste it. She will be tasting it. I do not taste the things that I am making. She's so. always shoving it in my mouth and I said, no, I don't want it unless I have the whole meal. Right. Needs a little more dressing. Okay. You're just going to have to taste it yourself. But use any kind of vinaigrette you want. But I just thought this sounded so good. But have whatever you want. Let me get a clean spoon. And, and when you said put more, what is that little phrase you say? If a little's if good. If a little's good, a lot's better. A lot is better. So here we are with Not our... Mm. <laughs> but I'm going to move good. that. Huh? I'm glad I moved that. We don't drip over our food. <laughs> right? Right. Right. Thank you. Mimi, it's really good. It's really you good. You guys are gonna get this for dinner. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna we're gonna have grill some hot dogs to go with this 
Mm -hmm. uh, let me show you a trick on hot dogs. Okay. What I've done, and this really works, before you put the hot dogs on the grill, put them in, oh, <laughs> pick that up first. Put them in boiling water for five minutes. What that does, it takes the nitrates out of the hot dogs, it gets them to be puffy, then you throw them on the grill and they're real moist. So they're right back here and they're ready to go on our grill. So we'll show what they look like when we're done. But, and then after we're done dinner, with dinner with Tony and Berkeley, come over here, Tony and Berkeley. Yeah, come on in. This is my handsome grandson, <laughs> Tony, and his beautiful, beautiful wife, Berkeley. <laughs> and they're holding our beautiful dog. And we're so happy to have Tony and Berkeley. Aren't they cute? Would you like to greet the people? Hi. <laughs> yeah. So, We'll be back later, but try this salad, folks. It is delicious. Okay, Tony. Okay. All righty, yo.